x plus 4y equals 11, and 5x plus 3y equals 4. All right, now, let's say that uh, it's up to you to decide what method you want to solve the system by. What? The addition or the substitution? It turns out in this particular case, either one will work. Right? You were told to do it by addition, that's what I'm going to use here. But if I wanted to do this by substitution, there is an easy way to do it. I, I need to solve for one of the variables. It's not written this way yet, but it's easy to get one of those variables by itself. Which one? Which of these four variables? Bx on which equation? The on the first equation. How come? It's because its coefficient is a? That's an easy variable to get by itself. All we would have to do is do what to both sides of this equation? Subtract 4y, and then we would have an identical problem to this one. You could solve it by substitution. In the exam, I won't be telling you what method to use. I'll just say solve. Now, for the sake of practice, and well, following directions in your, in your homework, uh, you're supposed to do this by addition. All right, so the first thing you do when you're going to use the addition method is you check to see if adding the equations the way they are given to us results in the cancellation of one of the variables. Do any of the variables cancel if we add the two equations? No. No, 1 plus 5 is 6, they don't cancel. 4 plus 3 is 7, they don't cancel. So we cannot just add the equations as given. Now you make a choice, you have to make a choice. You need to figure out which equation do you multiply by something so that the new system of equations will have that property that when you add the two equations, one of the variables cancels out. So which one here seems easy to get rid of? It's easy to, to, to cancel the x's because you can multiply one by anything you want and you get, you know, you get the, the number that you need. Ideally, what would you like the coefficient here to be so that it would cancel? We need a negative 5 right there. And because we have a 1, because we have a 1, that's easy to do. I'm going to take this equation then, and I'm going to multiply by negative 5. Before I go on, it is very, very important that in your mind it's clear why we chose the first equation, number one, and number two, why we selected negative five. If you don't understand that, please let me know so that we can clear that up. Yeah. Is it, are, we, are we okay then with why we are choosing negative five? Yes. And it's because you're looking for lowest common multiple between the two between variables? Between these two. That's okay. exactly right. You, wanna, you want this number to be the opposite of this one. So let me ask you something. If this number had been the number negative eight, why would you multiply the top equation? The positive eight. Exactly right. Yeah. You would, because that would allow you to cancel the variables, right? Now, do we even care what the numbers are on the y? No. We have absolutely no interest there. Our objective is cancel the x's. We made that choice because the x has a one, a coefficient of one, which makes things easy to, to cancel out. So let's multiply and see what we end up with. I'm just going to write my new system of equations right next to it. All right? Don't forget, everything has to be multiplied by negative 5, both sides of the equation. So we say negative 5 times x. Negative 5x. Negative 5x. Negative 5 times 4. Negative 20. Negative 20y. Equals negative 5 times 11. Negative 55. Now, do we need to change the bottom equation? No. No, we, we change the top precisely so that we could cancel the yeah, so I'm just going to copy that second equation. Now you go ahead and add those out. Add the two equations and see what you end up with. See if you can solve for the variable that, that remains. Let's check then. When we add the equations, negative 5x plus 5x? Cancel. They cancel each other. It's zero. Gone. So they're gone. Negative 20 plus 3? Negative This would be negative 17y. And negative 55 plus 4? Negative 51. Negative 51. And now we, uh, we divide both sides by negative 7. 17. 17. And we get y is equal to? Negative 3. Uh, you have a negative divided by a negative? 
positive three. Positive three, very nice. So once again, we have, we have the value of one of the variables. We have to go back to one of the equations to plug in the y so we can solve for x. Which of all the equations available to us, which one seems the easiest to solve for x? The top one right here, this original one. So we'll take this value and substitute it right into that first equation. It doesn't matter what equation you, you choose, you're going to get the same answer if you do it right, but this will require less work. x plus 4y, the y is replaced now by the number 3, equals 11. So x plus 12 equals 11, and if you subtract 12, from both sides of this equation, you get x equals negative So question, is this system consistent or inconsistent? Consistent. It's consistent. It has a solution. And what is the solution? Negative solution is the point negative 1 comma 3. I want to emphasize that it doesn't matter which of the two variables you find first. When you write your solution, you always write the x-coordinate first, the y-coordinate second, in that order.